Time to play with some clay. I, I spent today, I had a uh, one of these swing arm lamps that just gave out and uh, it just uh, I got a light bulb broken off inside the uh, the uh, bell of the lamp and I couldn't get the damn thing out of the socket so I was going to throw it away and then I looked at the back of the socket or the bell, and I saw that it was connected to the uh, bell uh, by a couple of uh, screws with a little nut inside the uh, bell that once I unscrewed those, I had this plate with two holes that I could use to screw uh, onto a piece of wood, and I thought, I wonder if I could make myself a mount for my light and by golly I did uh, I had to do a little finagling and thinking about it and stuff like that but I wanted to see if it would be strong enough to hold the camera in the first place and this uh, this uh, light um, system I got off of Amazon I'll put a link down below to the uh, type of light um, a lot of the uh, modern-day crappy lights that you get, uh, they have a plastic wrap around the uh, bell, and you can't do this. And it just happens that these lights have this, and I, I just bought another one to go above my table up there uh, because uh, I'm using that one to heat my clay down here and the reason I'm using it is because it actually holds its place on uh, you, you put it in a position and it actually holds its place and now I can get in real close to my clay as you can see which allows me to video details and it doesn't lose its level it, it keeps the same level and so I don't have to use a separate mount for different heights. I can just use my swing arm lamp, uh, whatever they call it, uh, arm, to uh, do that with. And it's strong enough to hold. Um, so it's just a little hack I, I discovered that I could use, and I, what I used was a uh, regular mount that you can get uh, from GoPro or some store that sells GoPros and the nice thing about this it let's see if I can get this loosened here oh the other way there's a little nut right there that allows you to change the angle of the uh, camera and uh you can have it straight on or straight off, and then you can tilt it up and tilt it down if you want to. But I, I, I'm sorry, I apologize for the lousy camera work here, but I'm holding my uh, GoPro 5, Hero 5, in my hand and recording this. But uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, I can put this onto my uh, cutting board that I use to role play and put my tools on. And... Uh, have it close enough to my sculpture that I can actually uh, video uh, my sculpture. And all I have to do is loosen the clamp. And these clamps are wonderful because you can, there's a little nut that comes with this particular uh, swing arm lamp that you can lock the uh, uh, swing arm support into position. So if you want it in the position that I got it in right now, all you gotta do is tighten this nut and it, it tightens up the nut against the uh, mount part of the uh, 
swing arm lamp. And if I want to move it back further, I've got to, well, I've got my camera out here. <laughs> Get that out of the way. If I want to mount it back further, I can just uh, screw a board down on this table and, uh, and, and mount it out here and then actually put the camera back far enough to get the full uh, image of the uh, clay. Also, I'm using uh, the small rig uh, to uh, protect my camera. It's made out of aluminum. Let me show you. Well, I can't show you. It's just too hard to do it. I can, with, with me holding a camera and, and uh, using the other hand, but there's a little button right there. You press it and you can release the side part that uh, opens it up to the uh, memory card and the battery. And there's a red release button up here that you slide it over and this whole, whole back pops down and then you can slide the camera out. But the nice thing about this is, let me see if I can get the light on the front of the thing, is it's got a 52 millimeter uh, lens uh, over the lens of the Hero 8. And the Hero 8's lens, if you break it, you got to almost replace the whole camera because it would cost you almost as much as a new camera to get a new lens because it's not detachable and you can't just uh, send away for a new uh, lens. You have to uh, send the camera in and get them to put a new lens on it and you can imagine how much that costs. It takes a 52 millimeter uh, lens uh, uh, UV, a UV filter which gives me a clearer view but it also protects the lens. And then I've got and there's a nice thing about the uh, lamp uh, swing arm is you can adjust the angle if uh, it seems a little askew you can uh, you know it doesn't seem quite level you can just level off the camera now I'm going to attempt to put the uh, lens cover on I've got ah, hard to do this with one hand uh, I got the lens cover here and uh, and just put it on and now the lens is completely covered and protected from all damage that could possibly happen to it in a, in a bag or as you're traveling so all right that's going to be the hack of the day for me <laughs> i think it's a damn good hack i'll see you guys next week sometime bye bye give me a thumbs up and share my video and then check out my instructional dvds uh the link down below this video all right see you next time